me? <laughs> really useful, I knew that. What does Diesel 10 mean about unfinished business? I think he's looking for something. Or some engine. Oh, poor engine. Engines crashing. What are you doing in the sheds, James? My wheels were peeling all out with work, so Sir Topham Hat told me to think about all the ways I can be a really useful engine. And when I have, I can come out again. He's just trying to make this a better railway for steam engines. Sir Topham Hat says the harder we work, the less he'll need diesel to ha help you. <laughs> you will always need help because. I'm sorry, what did you say? Oh, well, thank you, Moby Dick. I like my sparkle, too. You know, gold really is your color. <laughs> Stacy, where did you find this painting? In an old locker. It was done by Burnett Stone when he was a child. I was told that he used to work on this railroad. He never leaves the other side of the mountain now. You seem puzzled, Mr. Conductor. Well, I am puzzled. This place looks like the island of Sodor, but how would Burnett Stone travel there without gold dust? Anyway, I just came to say goodbye. I have to go now. Right now? Why, yes, Stacy. I have to make sure that everything is safe and sound on the island of Sodor, just as I try to do here. Is something the matter? Oh, uh, nothing. Nothing to worry about, Mr. Conductor. But Mutt sensed trouble, and that just like Diesel on Sodor, Boomer was the cause of it here in the valley. Burnett Stone, Muffle Mountain. Old Smokey, you stay right here until I get back. Ah, there you are. Is something wrong here? <laughs> now, what kind of an answer is that? Ah, I'm going to be late. I'll get back as fast as I can. I have to concentrate now, Mutt. I'm having a problem with my sparkle, and I don't know why. Mutt? Goodbye, Mutt. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Mr. Conductor, where are you? Why haven't you sparkled into my cab? Oh, Mr. Conductor, are you all right? Yes, Thomas, but sometimes everything happens at once. I have to see Sir Topham Hatt to get my orders right away. The journey from Shining Time keeps getting bumpier and bumpier. The big bully Diesel is back, Mr. Conductor. You'd better be careful. Sir Topham Hatt warned me about Diesel. Don't worry, Thomas. 
I'll just pop in and out with my sparkle wherever he goes and keep him in order. I hope. I've got a job for you, Splodge. Uh, 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 it's Splatter and Dodge. I ain't got time to say both names. I've come back to find a steam engine. That's easy. They're everywhere. Not the one I want. She's special. As long as she exists, so do the others. But if she can be destroyed... Destroyed? Did you say destroyed? Yes! Destroyed! There's a, a little uh, teeny problem, if boss. If you're talking about Twinkle Balls, I'll settle them with this! I don't think you meant to do that. Little Thomas. Collecting Mr. Conductor is an important job. Important is big. And we are big engines. You are small. So we should have picked him up. <clears throat> Bossy sprockets. Stop squabbling, all of you. What's important is to stand up on our own wheels to Diesel. I think Diesel believes in the legend of the lost engine. What legend? Of an engine more powerful than Diesel will ever be. That's why he wants to destroy her. Then we'd better find her first. Leave it to the big engines, Percy. Huh. Little engines can do big things, too. family before me. And how oh, yeah. is the lady hat? Yes. Watch out for Diesel definitely. They keep an eye on Henry's health, certainly. Uh, yes, sir, the three R's, reading, writing, and arithmetic. I, I mean, I will be responsible, reliable, and really useful. Yes, sir. We will all get a good night's sleep. Looking forward to a hard day tomorrow. <laughs> 